इन पल्स कोड मॉड्यूलेशन एंड डी मॉड्यूलेशन ट्रेनर किट द पल्स कोड मॉड्यूलेशन कैन बी ऑप्टेन बाई यूजिंग द डी सी सिग्नल और दी फ्रॉम द ए सी सिग्नल नाउ हेयर फर्स्ट लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी कनेक्ट दी डी सी आउटपुट हेयर यूजिंग दिस डी सी एडजस्ट नो द वोल्टेज कैन बी वेरीड फ्रॉम प्लस फाइव वोल्ट टू माइनस फाइव वोल्ट दिस डी सी आउटपुट इज बिन कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट ब्लॉक ऑफ द मॉड्यू पी सी एम मॉड्यूलेटर ब्लॉक दिस हेयर द सिग्नल इज बिन कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम एनालॉग टू डिजिटल यू कुड सी ए डी जीरो ए डी वन ए डी टू ए डी थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन अप टू ए डी सेवन द एट बिट डेटा इज बिन शोन ओवर हेयर In similar way, for the demodulation, you could see when the signal DA0, DA1, DA3 up to DA7 is also obtained on the board itself. Thus, you could see the ADC output as well as the DAC output in pulse code modulation demodulation trainer kit. Now here, firstly, you have to connect the transmitter clock. to the receiver clock and the transmitter sync signal to the receiver signal sync signal via patch cords and for to check the demodulated output connect the pcm output to the receiver data mode of pcm demodulator block and you could observe the output of pcm demodulated wave on crs now after making the connection switch on the kit the power led is on now here we have adjusted the signal at plus 5 volt when we move the knob the signal is measured from minus 5 to plus 5 volt now the signal is at maximum and plus 5 volt now we will see the output of pcm wave connect the cro socket and insert it into pcm output now on the cro we could see the pcm output when you adjust the dc amplitude wave on the board you could see its effect the signal the pulses are changing thus the modulation signal is passed through the pulses now to check the demodulation first verify whether the pcm output is given at the transmitter data the output is same hence the demodulation block has received the pcm data and at the output we check we could see our dc signal back at the same position which can this output is thus we have seen the information signal has been passed using pulse code modulation and the original signal is demodulated in pcm mod demod in the same way you could connect the sine wave output to the input of pcm modulated block you could observe the demodulated mod pcm modulated wave on the cro when there are changes in the frequency knob you could see the signal is changing Pulses. 
and when we change the amplitude adjustment knob of the input signal still there is no change in the amplitude of the signal you could see the modulation signal changes are being taken in the form of pulses the same way the output demodulated output of pcm can be checked here if we change the frequency the amplitude we could see its effect on the demodulated output thus we have studied in both the cases how the pulse code modulation and demodulation takes place in pulse code modulation and demodulation kit